Hey there, people. Hey, guys. What is up, YouTube? Bearded brethren, we are gathered here today for... <laughs> I think uh, we're just gonna start the video. How do we even do intros anymore? So guys, I start every sentence. I say so all the time. I'm sorry, sorry. You never know how many so's that I edit out of these videos. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Today, we're gonna be talking about something that I think uh, a lot of you guys will hopefully find useful and that is going to be, I'll tell you in a second. So make sure guys that um, you are following the Twitch channel. Uh, link is in the description. I know not everybody likes watching live streams. Not everybody has time to watch live streams, but really uh, it's been such a fun experience. If you like these videos, you like how they're they're funny, they're kind of laid back, they're helpful. That's exactly what the stream is, is that it's just me just hanging out, trying to help you guys, chilling, telling stories, playing games. And it, it really is awesome. I think that if you like the channel, you'll like it. So the link is right here. Make sure to see that in the description below. I will also put it in a pinned comment. So that way you guys can follow up on there. And it's awesome. Seriously, for real, like, it's just great. I don't know why you wouldn't want to be there. If you have time, if you like watching these videos, if you like just chilling, then uh, it's definitely somewhere you want to be. Uh, that said, we're going to get into this video. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, oh, there's something in my... Okay, so we're gonna be talking about uh, underrated characters and teams for Alliance War offense. Uh, these probably are not gonna work on defense, but I use these all the time on offense and they're just really helpful. Help you eke out those extra victories that you're looking for so you can finally reach that, that coveted MVP status. Without further ado, let's get right into it. It took me forever to figure out where I should put my face for this, but so we're just gonna cover the level because it's easy for me to tell you right away. He's level 70. So Yondu, I think, is way, way, way underrated for Alliance War. He's a really good character. He used to be used for all kinds of stuff in the game. And so the way that that kind of works is that he transitions out of like, I don't know, arena, blitz, raids, because there's better characters now. But if you think about it, in war you're fighting like some meta teams but then you're fighting like older meta teams and so characters like yondu hand sentry kingpin uh, those are all kind of lumped together here um, those characters fall in and they can be used and they're actually they perform really really well now in this mode because they were meta characters at one point or another in a some sort of game mode so yondu really awesome yours doesn't have to be this strong but it's kind of like when you see somebody and they've just got uh, just a weak team, like maybe the shield minions, or maybe like a weak Hydra team, or aim, or whatever. You can put Yondu in there, and mine, for example, is very strong. I loved him. He was my favorite character for the longest time in the game. And so yours doesn't have to be tier 12. But what you need, you get him in there, and you can use his AoE ability uh, on turn 2. And what that does is that pretty much can wipe most teams. And then if they have like a team that has like all minions and then one really annoying taunting tank or something like that, he can cleanse that on his first turn because he's got the arrow that cleanses it on his basic. So Yondu is really good for that. He can wipe the teams. He does good damage if you have him powered up enough. So I think that Yondu, for that reason, he really fits in. He's someone that you don't really see anymore, right? Like you're not like, oh yeah, Yondu, he's awesome. But it's more like, oh yeah, Yondu used to be good, not really that good anymore. But in Alliance War for offense, he can just wipe that team out. And it's just like, whoa, okay, like this is awesome. I often, I actually save him for offense and I put him in and I'll just wipe out a team, a little minion team with just him. And so it uses up one character, poof, done, easy. Peasy. Next, underrated character, our boy Cree Cyborg. You might be saying, why? Why is Cree Cyborg so good? Well, he's not super good, but <laughs> but what his basic does is important here. His basic, when he kills somebody, he chains to another person. And so you might be saying, well, why is that good? So if you're going up against a team with minions, you can use his basic and knock out two people right off the bat. Pew, pew. <laughs> when you do that, it's super helpful because he can take out two people right away. You pair him with, uh, sometimes I pair him with uh, Kingpin, Winter Soldier, and uh, they can take out pretty good teams. I mean, I'm not saying like you're not gonna fight a meta team, but you know, 
not everybody has meta teams in every slot of their alliance war defense so just another character that like you're gonna need this guy leveled up anyways for nick fury uh so you probably already have him around this level i haven't touched this dude since i got nick fury so that's what he's up at this power level for and i just really think that like he is underrated i didn't use him at all for a long time and then i just kind of tossed him into a team one day and i realized that he could do the double tap and also his second ability is actually pretty strong um again at this level level 65 tier 9 uh 35 power he can pretty regularly hit for like just big attacks on his second ability it's pretty crazy so i'm pleasantly surprised by him most times that i use him all right i don't know if you guys know about this dude right so hulk um <laughs> so obviously hulk is unlocked through achievements and so if you've been playing as long as me you almost have him at seven star pretty close and um, he, after his rework, is really good. I need to level him up. I need to power him up a bit more. But, I mean, a, a strong Hulk, I feel like he punches up on his own. Like, he can just go. Um, he does a lot of damage. He does healing. He does all the cleansing. But his damage numbers get really high the more you level him up. I have personally been wrecked by many hulks who i'm like oh he's at 30,000 power no problem i'll put in two characters that equal 45,000 power or 40,000 power and then he just wrecks them and it's embarrassing because it's like oh like i couldn't even take out this one character um and so i would say his power level is not typically reflective of actually how strong he is after the rework you might say well his rework didn't seem that flashy and it wasn't but that's the thing that's just how good he is so definitely hulk uh he can be deceptive on defense um, you could put him in like one of those teams where he's got like little weak minions and then you have one really strong character. You could put Hulk in there. Um, that would be crazy. Or you could just use him on offense and just know like, hey, okay, this is going to be good. I know that he is going to hit above his weight class. And so, yeah, okay, my team's weaker, but I got Hulk in there. Uh, that's definitely something that I recommend. It's, uh, I, don't, I don't know, it's just stronger than I expected. And uh, maybe you guys didn't know that. I didn't know it for a while. I wasn't using it for a while, but I'm using it now. All right, another uh, team. This is like a pair, right? So we got Ant-Man and Wasp. I really like these two. They work so well together. And uh, just, I don't know, they're, again, they're not going to fight a meta team, even though Ant-Man is pretty good at uh, just disabling Ultron because he can do the ability block. But that's, uh, again, another video for another time. So really... Ant-Man, he can steal the buffs, he does AoE slow, he dodges a lot. Same with Wasp, she dodges a lot, she can stun, she can hit every character. And uh, just these characters, they're not amazing, like, whoa, characters. But what they are is they're better than the average character. Um, my Wasp is not even strong, okay? My Wasp is level 58, my Ant-Man's level 55. My uh, Ant-Man is seven star, my Wasp is five star. They're not strong characters, 20,000 power, 18,000 power. But these guys are great. I put them in a team and they can work together. The dodges are so clutch. And I know that's RNG, but it always seems to work out with them because they just dodge so much. So I'd say if you're not using these characters, you might have them at this level, or maybe yours are a little weaker, maybe a little stronger, maybe you got lucky red stars on them. I know a guy who's got a six red star Wasp and she just kills everything because she dodges all the time and she can just hit all the time. So, definitely give these guys a try uh you know toss them out in the old rodeo and uh see what they can do i think you'll be pleasantly surprised with them and i mean on defense as well again it does seem like rng for dodges does work a bit better on defense so maybe even just putting them on defense somewhere and just like a kind of whatever team like a weird tech team or something like that it can work all right just a few more left now here I want to make sure you guys know about as many as I can get to you, though. So Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange can make weak teams excel, especially if you're going for the cargo bay, which is the room that gives all of the random buffs. If you toss this dude in your squad, you can go and then immediately use his Winds of Watum. I think that's how you say that. And uh, it flips everything. And so why would you not want that, first of all? But it's like, imagine... You go in there, they have all these buffs, that's their advantage. Then you flip them, and then you have a team that's like, aight. And you're able to just go in and blast them. Say you have characters like, you know, you could put him with the Kingpin team. The Kingpin, Winter Soldier, Kree Cyborg, because those guys are kind of just like, they've got like big, just like one-off hits. And then they're kind of not good after that. But um, you can put them in there, and then they're able to just blast people just real quick right at the beginning. Um, really helpful. Um, he can also revive, which is not as useful 
um, as things go on. And his basic gives uh, offense down, which is awesome. That can help you stay alive for a bit longer. I don't know if you guys are familiar, uh, it just kind of runs in the background, but uh, there's a 20% chance every turn to fill uh, the lowest turn meter on your team by 30%. So I mean, just another cool RNG thing that can happen. I mean, it doesn't always happen. You don't want to rely on it. I didn't even actually know that's what his unique ability was, but uh, yeah. That's helpful as well. It can get you going, get you flying, get you get you running out there. I mean, imagine you're going and you run the team that I mentioned, Kree Cyborg, Doctor Strange, Winter Soldier, Kingpin, and then whoever the heck else you want to. Um, and imagine that Doctor Strange goes and then he gives 30% turn meter to Kingpin. And then you're just going. You're going faster. You get that offense up. Just bang, 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 bang. You know what I'm saying? And so I wouldn't rely on it, but... It's definitely it's something awesome, it's good, and this is something that I don't think a lot of people know about. I don't know if a lot of people use these characters. Doctor Strange is so old now, I remember when he came out, it was like forever ago. So I don't think a lot of people use him, maybe a lot of people don't have him. Gotta, gotta, you just have to. He's great in war, especially in the cargo bay room. All right, and then last but not least, I know you guys already know this, but we're gonna talk about it anyways, is Power Armor Team. So what you can already see real quick here is that mine's not maxed out, mine's not, out of this world, um, but my Iron Man is really strong, but like, that's okay. Like, he doesn't have to be. And uh, you run this team, I put Vision, I always put Vision on the team so that you can get that defense up. That kind of helps me out because my team is a bit weaker. You can have that defense up, you don't get wrecked right away. But I've seen this team, I have punched up as much as 80,000 power onto a defender's team one time. And I've done the same around 60,000 power jump up to a uh, Guardians team. And just the list goes on. I know some people who have jumped up. The most I ever saw was in my alliance. A guy jumped up 120,000 power on a team, which boggled my mind. He used like a 190,000 power team to beat a 300,000 power team. So I guess that's 110. But it blew my mind. So that you don't want to miss out on that. That's amazing. And so these characters are just so good and they especially they get the war bonuses. I think that's the big deal. Um, that is another thing I didn't mention with Winter Soldier. He gets war bonuses because he's military. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So these guys, you already know about them. And I just want to just, again, just tag them on there at the end just because it's a big deal and they have to be mentioned in any video relaying anything about war. These so that's what I've got for you guys today. Um, I hope someone is able to find this video helpful. That's the whole point of it. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know. That's, that's what I got for you. So again, like I said, make sure to come over to Twitch. We stream every single day. Um, like I said, link is in the description, pinned comment. You, you want to be there. It's fun. If you like this channel, you like these videos, you want to be there. So I'm going to keep plugging it because we stream every day. That's the other thing. If you think I don't post enough videos, you just want to hang out. I stream every day. And so the videos are there because they're live and they're great and they're fun. So be there. Don't miss out. And uh, hopefully see you guys there. Leave a comment down below if uh, these teams helped you. Leave a like on the video if also these teams helped you and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if uh, these teams helped you or if you like this video and follow on Twitch down below. It's free. It's fun. It's great. Yeah, yeet!